guys, what's up? Welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Hourglass Foundation. I grabbed the little bitty tiny size because this was free, okay? If you spent $25 or more on the Sephora site, you actually get a free little freebie. And they usually have these going around, like you can get a foundation, you can get any other type of little product, but I saw that this was going to be an option. And to my surprise, the darkest shade that they have was the same shade that I'm in in the, found, um, the foundation stick. So I was like, girl, let me let me grab this because for one, this foundation is not cheap. So the shade that I use in the stick foundation is Golden Almond and this one is also Golden Almond. So I really like how they came out with samples first. Like I think this came out before it actually launched. I'm just getting my video up really, really late. But I like how they do that because if you don't wanna spend so much money on this like a certain foundation, I like how they'll give you an option to try it out first before you go in and spend that money. Or you can always go in Sephora and get free samples that way. But I'm really glad that they had this shade because like I said, this is the same shade that I am in in the stick foundation. But for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a demo so you guys can see how it applies on my skin. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation. And I'm also gonna check back with you guys later on so that you guys can see how it held up on my skin. So how I'm gonna do this video is how I do most of my review videos. I'll do the demo first so you guys can see, you know, see the product in action. And then at the end of the video, I'll tell you guys my final thoughts. I'll give you guys more of a review on the product as well as the pricing and all of that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing my review on the new Hourglass Foundation, then let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, you guys, so the first thing I wanna do is moisturize my skin. So I'm gonna take my Olay Moisturizer. This is their seven-in-one anti-aging moisturizer and it has SPF 30. And I take the smallest amount because you really don't need a lot of this product because you just don't need a lot. And the primer we're gonna be using today is this one by Ulta. This is their Hydrating Coconut Water Face Primer. Very similar, like, the more I keep using this primer, the more I feel like it's kinda similar to the Too Faced um, Hangover Primer. It does have a coconut scent. It's super moisturizing. And I like how um, my foundation doesn't separate with this primer, so. It's really nice. And honestly, I don't even have to wear a moisturizer with this primer. I just choose to do it anyway because this doesn't have SPF in it, I don't believe. So I always like to use the one by Olay because this does have SPF in it before I apply a primer on top. So yeah. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera um, and then I'll be right back. All right, so the brows are somewhat done. Let's go ahead and play with this little foundation. So again, this is the one that I got free um, on Sephora. So you just type in the code VANISH and you'll get a little free sample. It is a cute little size. I'm hoping I can do like a full face with this little bitty mini, which I'm pretty sure I can, but this is how tiny it is. And it comes with like a little spatula to apply. And I was looking at the reviews on Sephora. Um, one of the reviews said, received the two deluxe samples and ended up giving them away because this is one of the worst looking foundations I've seen on my skin. It emphasized textures and pores and it just didn't give me a pretty finish. That was one review, um, and she gave it one out of five stars. The other review says, I had very high expectations, but the product is terrible. Super dry, patchy, and the shade was not at all what I was expecting. It didn't last on my face before I started moving around. Not worth the money. She also gave it one out of five stars. Well, she or he, I don't know the sex, but, um, Another person said, I couldn't wait for this to come out. It is a complete disappointment. The colors are not at all what these stick colors are. Really? Okay, I'm kind of nervous now because I grabbed the shade um, that I am in the stick foundation, which is Golden Almond. So I'm kind of nervous now. Um, but yeah, she said the shades are not at all what the stick colors are. Um, the sales lady tried nine colors and they were all way off and they, were either very yellow or turned out. And uh, let me go back to the review. Okay, that's I'm not I'm just reading too much already for that one, but you guys get the picture of that review. This other review said I have combo oily skin, but the way this foundation sat on the skin was terrible. It caked up and made my skin look very dry, especially around the mouth and chin area. Girl, let's go ahead and apply this on the skin. I'm kind of nervous, like I'm really nervous now, being that. 
one of the reviews said the shade is not at all the same as the stick foundation so let's try this out and see how this is gonna look and just by applying it on the skin it feels really thin like really thin so it doesn't feel thick at all and I think that's all I'm gonna put down on the skin for now let's blend this out and see how it looks taking my Sonia Kashuk beauty sponge which a lot of you always ask me what type of sponge I use and it is by Sonia Kashuk and you can get it from Target Alright, so right off the bat, the shade isn't too bad. It's not that bad. Okay. Yeah, honestly, the shade isn't that bad. Okay. I'm not as nervous as I was at first, but the shade, it actually looks really good. It's pretty warm. Um, the Golden Almond Stick Foundation, which I really wish I had. I did end up using all of mine. I didn't ever purchase another one, but that just tells you how much I love that stick foundation. I do want to get another one though, because that is one of my favorite high-end foundation sticks. So as far as this, this is actually nice. Like the color isn't that bad. I was really, really worried after reading that review that the color was not going to be the same as, um, the stick foundation but I honestly don't have it in front of me to actually compare it but I feel like the stick foundation like the color golden almond is this color like this may be a little bit more warm than the stick foundation now that I'm thinking about it because I think golden almond was like my perfect match this one looks a little like a tiny bit more warm than the stick foundation if if I'm remembering correctly I think the stick foundation was actually like my perfect, perfect, perfect match. I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side, which is where my spots show up the most. Just a little bit right there. But I mean, the coverage is really nice. You guys can see that it did give me a nice full coverage, kind of, sorta. But I still could kind of see a few of my dark spots on this side because that's where they are the most, like the most visible, but the coverage looks really nice. Like the foundation looks pretty nice on the skin. The shade isn't that bad, like I said. It is giving me a glow, so it is kind of like a dewy finish. Um, I don't know if that's because I used a hydrating primer. Um, I didn't use a mattifying primer this time, but usually when I use hydrating primers, my foundation isn't as, I guess, matte on the skin, and that's what I like. But me personally, I love a hydrating primer. I just feel like it makes, Everything looked more natural and more, I guess, skin-like on the skin once you apply all of your makeup on top of the hydrating primer, but I do like how it looks so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of peek at what else is saying about this foundation as far as um, the description. And again, I will give you guys my final review at the end of this video, but I kind of want to peek at the description because honestly I haven't even read anything about this foundation yet. All right, yeah, so it says it's a highly concentrated liquid foundation that's designed to deliver instant full coverage. So you guys saw that it did give me an instant coverage, maybe not full full because I could still kind of see, I don't know if you guys can see, but right here, I can see my darkest dark spot right there. But yeah, it says deliver instant full coverage with just half a pump. I don't even know how many pumps I use because we just used a little sample size and I just applied some of the product all over the face. So I would say that was maybe a full pump, not a half pump. Uh, girl, I don't even think that was a half pump, but it was, I would say it was a full pump. But um, it also says no primer needed. What? Maybe I should have tried it out without using a primer. Maybe I'll just do that in another video, but no primer needed. But anyway, let's go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm not gonna cut this part out because I've realized that a lot of you like for me to do my makeup with you guys, even though I'm doing a review on a certain product, you still want me to do the makeup instead of just cutting it out the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The time is now 10, 15 in the morning. So what we're gonna do is um, I'll check back with you guys later on after I wear the face for a full, you know, a full day, I guess, for a full day. Do I have anything to do today? But yeah, let's go ahead and finish up the face. So for the concealer, I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, which I have been absolutely loving, you guys. This 
has become one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I have been using this thing all month long. It is a full coverage concealer. Um, I would say it's pretty similar to Tarte Shape Tape. And I wanted to compare it to that because a lot of us have already tried out Tarte Shape Tape. But the only difference I would say is Tarte Shape Tape is a little bit more drying. This one is not as drying as Tarte Shape Tape. Um, but the color is really nice. I have the shade 515, no, 415 Honey. I'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer with my Fenty setting powder in the shade Banana. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Maybelline Superstay Press Foundation Powder in the shade 355 and just dust this everywhere else that I did not apply the banana powder just to set the foundation. So I'm gonna take my Earth Glow Bronzing Powder. This is actually like a pressed foundation powder, but I use it as a bronzer. This is by Milani, and it's like $7, very affordable. Get your hands on it. So the eyes, I'm gonna take two palettes. I'm gonna be taking the Juvia's Place Warrior 2, and I'm also gonna be taking my NYX Ultimate Palette. Both of these palettes I have been dipping into all month long, especially this one. This has become one of my favorite, like, all matte palettes, and I have been loving this. So I'm gonna dip into this first shade right here. This is the color that I go to if I want a really soft, light transition color, or if I just wanna put this all over the lid for a nice, everyday, natural look. So this is a really nice color to just throw on the eyes if you don't really want to wear like a colorful eyeshadow that day. Just throw this color on top of the lid and you're good to go. But I'm just going to put this in the crease just to kind of warm it up just a little bit. And I like how these shades are buildable. Like you could easily build this one shade that I'm using right here to, you know, to appear to be darker. As you guys can see, it is slowly but surely getting darker because I am applying more layers just to warm up the crease. All right, now I'm gonna dip into the NYX Ultimate Palette. This is the Ultimate Edit Palette. Um, and take this peachy color right here. I'm gonna use that same brush that we use, just kind of dust off some of that product on a napkin, just so it won't you know, mix in too much with that first shade that we use. But using that same brush, just dipping into that peachy color. And I'm gonna tap this all over the lid. I'm gonna take my brow pencil. By the way, I use the CoverGirl brow pencil for my brows today. I'm gonna take the spoolie side and just blend out the inner corner of the brows. You guys know I like to do this after my entire face is done. So that way the inside of the brow can kind of blend in so it won't look choppy. All right, so I'm done with the top of the lid. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara, some lashes. The lashes I'm using today are by Ardell. This is their Remy Lashes in the number 778. I've really been loving these lashes, which is why I've been wearing them a lot lately. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on, some mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, so I finally got the lashes on, and I also went ahead and went back into the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette and picked up that purple, and picked up the purple shade in here and just kind of smudged it on my bottom lash line after I put on some black eyeliner. So I just dipped my brush into the purple and just kind of smudged out the bottom lash line. Just kind of give me that purple smoky look. I'm also going to go back into the ultimate, not the ultimate, but the um, Juvia's Place Warriors 2 and pick up a lighter peach color, which is this one right here. It's actually a little bit more lighter than the first peach that we used in the NYX palette. I'm going to take a little pointy blender brush this is by elf cosmetics and just tap it in my inner corner i don't know if this is going to show up as much as i want it to but i just want to see how this is going to look just place it right there in the inner corner and i'm going to still go into the warriors 2 palette and take this middle shade right here which is a really pretty coral orangey shade and i'm going to use this as my blush All 
All right, so I'm gonna take the Dose of Colors highlighter in the shade Royal. Ugh, I always get my tongue, like my mouth just does not wanna say this. R Royal Hotness. Yeah, there we go. And then for the lips, I'm gonna take my lip liner by NYX. This is in the shade Nutmeg. Let me wipe my lips off because I had on a little bit of lip gloss earlier. Okay, lipstick, CoverGirl. This is in the shade um, Decadent Peach. So, don't know how this is gonna look, but I wanted a peachy color since we're going for a peachy spring look, obviously. I did not intend for this look to look like this, but I like it. I thought this was a matte lipstick. It is a cream lipstick. I wanted more of a matte peachy look. So, I don't know, is this cute? I was leaning more towards a matte lip instead of a creamy looking lip, but I guess this will do. All right, so this is the final look. So far, everything still looks pretty good as far as the foundation. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go about my day, do some filming, go out and about, so that way I can be out in the weather, see how this foundation is gonna hold up. And then I will check back with you guys later on so you guys can see how the face is looking. So I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so I am back. The time is 5.32. PM. Started about 10 this morning, so about seven hours, a little over seven hours, and this is what everything is looking like, girl. Like, I have already gotten into my robe. I am ready to take off my face and get comfortable. Well, I'm already comfortable, but put my hair up, wrap it up, get in the shower, get back comfortable, and just chill for the rest of the day. But this is how, I mean, it still looks really nice on the face. Um, my T-zone is super, <laughs> it's pretty shiny right here because that is just how it is. I mean, I didn't even use any um, mattifying primers today. I think I just used the Olay moisturizer and then I used the Ulta hydrating moisturizer. So I didn't do anything like any mattifying primers in this area, which is what I usually do when I, um, you know, go to work. But I don't even know why I didn't think to do that today because this is pretty freaking shiny. But that's okay because I feel like everything else on the face still looks good. My lips are so dry because I was eating and drinking earlier. I'm going to put on some lip gloss real quick. By the way, this is a gloss by Morphe. It is their gloss in the shade Pixie. Just throw that on really quick. Everything, I mean, it looks really good on the skin. The color is good. Um, the coverage is good. So I am really pleased with it so far. I still want to get more wear out of the foundation. So I'm actually gonna throw this foundation in my everyday makeup stash for the month of February. I'm not gonna go out and buy it yet because I still have quite a bit in my little sample size. So, and you guys saw that I didn't even have to use a lot of the products. So I still have a good bit to actually use so i'm not gonna go out and buy the foundation just yet if i am obsessed like really 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 obsessed with the foundation to the point where i just have to have to have to have it i will go out and buy it now the foundation is 56 dollars, which is a pretty good penny um you are getting 0.84 ounces a product um, and I can't really show you guys the actual product because I don't have it I just have the little mini size right here and as far as the amount of product that's in this is 0.11 ounces so I mean even if it even though it is pretty tiny I just think I will get um, maybe three or four more uses out of this product it was I mean this is a perfect size to try out to review if you wanted to review the foundation and it just you know just kind of test run it I guess but 
honestly and truly I don't see myself going out and buying the full size because I do have this and I can still get quite a few more uses out of this. So I'm really glad that Sephora gave us that option to actually try out the product before going in and you know purchasing it. You can also go inside the store and get free samples of pretty much anything. So if you guys want to try out this foundation, I would highly suggest going inside Sephora first and then getting like some samples because I mean they give you a good amount of sample to try out. So if you want to try it out, I would have to, um, highly suggest going in there and getting a sample. That's with anything really. Like if you um, and know what other foundation that you want to try out, go in Sephora, get a sample, they're free. But yeah, I mean, I do like the foundation. I like the finish that it gave me. It's not matte, it's not too um, overly dewy, but it's kind of like that skin-like finish, which I like. Now, me personally, I would prefer to have the stick foundation over the liquid foundation. That's just my preference. Um, I just prefer stick foundations over liquid foundations anyway. Um, I just feel like they're so much easier to apply. They're quick, they're easy, and I like the coverage that uh, stick foundations give. Not all stick foundations though, but my top ones are the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and also the one by ColourPop. But yes, that I guess that's my review on this foundation, you guys. I feel like I said foundation 50 million times in this video, but this is my review, this is my first impression, as well as my wear test. So let me know if you guys have already picked up this foundation. Let me know your thoughts, if you like it, if you don't like it. Um, and yeah, I think that is all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.